Animals can do some pretty extraordinary things. They can leap in the air 50 feet or hold their breath underwater for days at a time. Needless to say, some animals have some impressive abilities that allow them to survive and thrive. Camouflage is one of the most effective. Whether it's venomous snakes that can disappear into the grass in your backyard or a fish that might be a stone. Here are 15 of the most surprising camouflaged animals in the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. The Buff-Tipped Moth There are some amazing creatures on planet Earth. Where some have venom or claws or razor-sharp teeth, others have armor and camouflage. No matter what type of abilities have developed over the years, it's all for survival. These animals have mastered the art of camouflage. Take the buff-tipped moth, for instance, who defies the rest of its moth brethren by being active during the day, instead of at night, where most moths are protected by the cover of darkness. The buff-tipped doesn't need darkness, it's got its own camouflage to protect itself. Just take a look at this thing. If I wasn't to tell you that a moth was hiding on the stick, would you even believe me? During the day, most moths run and hide in dark cracks and corners until nightfall. Though most have some sort of drab camouflage, none even come close to the buff-tipped moth's detail. On each end of its body, it also has a lighter brown color to appear as if it's just a twig broken off of a tree. If this thing were to fly into a tree or fall amongst the woodland floor's foliage, it would be nearly impossible to find it again. Heck, even its body is cendrilical like a twig. Needless to say, this is one of the best adapted moths on the planet. Number 14. Bird Poop Caterpillar Birds love caterpillars for a meal. They're slow, easy to catch, and pretty much fast food. No wonder over the years caterpillars have developed a way to combat prey, and birds specifically. No bird is going to swoop down and grab its poop for a snack, so this caterpillar got an idea. <laughs> I'll just look like a bird turd and I'll be safe. Congrats on both ends, Mr. Caterpillar. You've succeeded. Birds won't come near you and you look exactly like a massive bird poop. Just take a look at this thing. With its marbleized black and white coloring to its slimy and wet outer appearance, this caterpillar knows how to look like crap. Even its real name implies its bird doo doo appearance, the giant swallowtail caterpillar. In this case, the tail refers to, well, you know. In fact, its camouflage system works so well that it allows them to sit out in the open on leaves to feed without worry, to deter other predators that aren't birds. It can extend a bunch of horn-like appendages to prevent anyone from taking a nibble. Number 13. Wraparound Spider Spiders used to terrify the heck out of me. I couldn't stand them. After doing a lot of research, their terrifying appearance and notoriety quickly subsided behind practicality and coexistence with humans. I actually began to appreciate and like spiders. I'm not so quick to smash them anymore. Australia has some pretty wicked species of spider, mouse spiders, funnel webs, red backs to name a few. But where those spiders have survived with deadly force, the wraparound spider is a master at camouflage. Just take a look at this branch and see if you can spot the spider. Thinking of its name, you can imagine that spider is indeed wrapped around the tree but has faded away into the bark so well it could easily be bothered. Despite my newfound courage in the face of spiders, imagine walking through the forest, maybe ducking beneath some branches and grabbing a branch to aid your limbo beneath. You grab a branch that has a wraparound spider on it and it scares the bejesus out of you. Now, I'm not scared of them, but I sure as heck don't want to go around grabbing them and messing around with them. Just let them be. It's why they have camouflage to begin with. Number 12. Glowert's Sea Dragon The Glowert's Sea Dragon, otherwise known as the Leafy Sea Dragon, is closely related to a seahorse. With a little digging, you can see why. Mostly, the sea dragon looks like a loose floating pile of sea leaves, with barely any swimming appearance at all. 
This is part of the system of camouflage that makes the sea dragons unique. It stays safe by pretending to be a dead leaf, floating aimlessly throughout the ocean. This protects them from both predators and vegetarian fish, as the fish that eat plants are looking for live plants still attached to the ocean floor. Dead plants floating are of no concern to anyone, apparently. Just as long as a whale shark doesn't come by and open its vacuum mouth and consume everything in sight, when at just the right angle, you can really see the seahorse-shaped face, but other than those times, it might as well be a sea plant. If it weren't for those small shifting black eyes caught on camera, I might not even believe you. There are some truly magnificent creatures in the world with some remarkable abilities and survival techniques. Number 11. Ghost Pipefish Again, aside from those eyes, these fish look like a piece of kelp or seaweed coasting along the ocean floor. They too are related to the seahorse, which animal genus has developed some remarkable camouflaging capability. There are many types of ghost pipefish, which in actuality aren't pipefish at all. They're referred to as the false pipefish because they don't belong in the same taxonomies. There are Halamita ghost fish, which can't be explained better than looking like a strand of kelp, the ornate ghost pipefish, which looks like a plant with a bunch of appendages coming on it, and the robust pipefish, which wades through the water like a dead piece of seaweed, just to name a few. The ghost pipefish is one of the best kept secrets of the oceans. It's all in part because of their extraordinary ability to camouflage. There are plenty more ghost pipefish where they came from, if you're interested. There's the velvet, the bandit, stick, you name it. All of them have a different look and type of plant they mimic, making them all the more special. Number 10. Snow Leopard Not too long ago, there was a viral picture of a snow leopard hiding in a photograph. Some people said, nah, there's no snow leopard there. There was indeed a snow leopard as it was highlighted and circled and sent out again to display its hidden location. It was complicated to make out any distinct border of the animal because the camera couldn't differentiate the two. With all that being said, it's a testament to the incredible camouflage of the snow leopard. Its prey doesn't stand a chance. If it's not blending in with the snow, it can just easily disappear into the gray and drab colors of the rocks and mountains where it prowls. It's one of the most elusive cats in the world and are unfortunately extremely endangered. Their pelts make for fancy coats and bags in Russia and other area poached animals materials are sold. The snow leopard is an incredible and majestic animal. Just watch as it makes its way over terrain with such grace, with confidence. It knows it's dangerous and hard to see and it uses it to its advantage whenever possible. To this day, the snow leopard is the least studied and understood feline. That's saying something about its ability to elude. Number 9. The Camouflaged Looper There are some wild caterpillars out there, I had no idea. Where some have decided to go to the stick camouflage route, this little guy chose to go to the flower route, disguising himself as a piece of Lucy flower debris. The looper can cover itself with the flower's color and blend in so well you could stare at it, eating the plant and not tell it apart from other petals. When it's done with one flower and it's time to move on to the next, you can find the looper doing a little honky-tonk dance. There's a particular reason for that. It's all part of the complex camouflage system that has kept it relatively safe over thousands of years. The dance is to give off the appearance it just is a piece of loose, dead foliage floating in the wind. Don't worry about me, bird. I'm just a leaf blowing in the wind. The looper turns into a gorgeous emerald green moth that finds delicacy in the nectar of chrysanthemums. Next time you're observing your garden or find evidence of caterpillar activity, make sure you keep an eye out for these masters of camouflage. Number 8. The Leaf-Tailed Gecko If the name hasn't given it away already, this gecko has a unique tail that looks like a leaf. Believe it or not, the tail of a gecko is one of the biggest giveaways when considering other gecko types. The leaf-tailed gecko recognized its flaw and adapted. The leaf-tailed gecko was one of the largest of its kind, measuring on average at 20 centimeters long. If you can imagine, the bigger you are, the harder it would be to hide. Not for this gecko. Even with its vast length, the leaf-tailed gecko is nearly invisible. 
Its skin matches so well with the bark of trees, you'd be hard pressed to find one. Even the color of its eyes blends in with the rest of its body, making the process of trying to find this master of disguise all the more difficult. You can bet its prey has no chance, with some bugs and insects walking right into its mouth. I imagine a cartoon scene, a bug skipping along the tree, happy, foraging. The lizard has its mouth wide open, and the bug walks straight in for a quick snap and a leisurely breakfast. Of course, real life is much more vicious in the animal kingdom, but it's still fun to personify. Number 7. Children's Stick Insect One on this list where most everyone has been lucky enough to see at least once or twice, whether at school or in their community, the stick bug is an international treasure famous for its incredible stick-like quality and ability to disappear from sight entirely. However, there are different types of stick bugs, each with varying colors and appendages to match the most prevalent trees in the area. Have tons of very woody colored and stick colored trees, the stick bug matches. Have trees with spindlier and vine-like branches, there's a stick bug with legs to match the green and the brown to match the trunk. If you've never seen this master at disguise do their thing, just watch as it magically fades into the tree. Now imagine it not moving, and you tell me how difficult it'd be to spot one of these guys. It would be like one of the hardest games of I Spy ever. Number 6. Goldenrod Crab Spider I know I mentioned my overcoming my spider fear earlier, but this one returned the cringe. I don't know what it is, but something about such brilliant yellow, such flamboyance gives me the willies. I mean, excellent camouflage on those yellow flowers and all, but truly remarkable. It makes me cringe. Semi-translucent legs, a red streak across its body that instills fear. Yeah, I just got up and brushed myself far from the jitters. Okay, let's get back on track. The golden crab spider name is a bit deceiving, as it's a golden sometimes but it can change its color after a few days. It's often found hiding in the vibrant colors of flowers, where it can mimic the color to near perfection. It's called crab because of its long, pincer-like attack with its front legs that gives off its spider crab appearance. After a few watches, the jitters were replaced by splendor. I could watch it change colors all day. Something's kinda mesmerizing by this ability. Just take a look and be the judge for yourself. Number 5. The Willow Ptarmigan A willow ptarmigan is a type of partridge bird and is also the Alaskan state bird. Birds don't typically require much camouflage as they are predators of the skies. Mostly flightless birds, on the other hand, would have a more difficult time with avoiding prey. It's only natural that camouflage is the adaption to not only help them survive, but to thrive. Its feathers match that of a dense thicket or a wispy and wiry tree branch. Often in these areas, leaves and food are prevalent, as well as excellent foliage to keep the willow well hidden. Because of how far north these birds reside, their environment, as you can imagine, turns from brushy brown to brilliant white in the winter. As you might have guessed, the brown feathers that kept it camouflaged in other seasons would stand out in stark contrast to the luminescent white of the freshly laid snow. So, the willow partridge has developed a unique trait allowing it to change colors. It can molt its brown feathers in favor of snow-colored feathers, allowing it to disappear into the winter wonderland. Number 4. Great Potu The Great Potu is a nocturnal bird. As with most nocturnal birds, when they sleep, they're usually well hidden or protected by a canopy of leaves. But when there are no leaves and barren tree trunks are more prevalent, a bird out in the open becomes a much more dangerous thing for the bird. Enter the perfect camouflage of the potu. Its feathers match tree bark in all of its imperfections. The potu can also tuck in its tail. The potu can also tuck in its head and act like an owl, giving off the appearance it's just another log, along a line of another tree. Nothing to see here, predators, just walk on by. The first thing I noticed was those eyes. There's something about them, something witty and something observant. The great potu is native to Central and South America and has a unique way of hunting. Staying perched and still, with its eyes wide, it can remain invisible to most prey. When the prey approaches, it pounces. 
After it had its fill, it returns to the same perch, posts up, and begins again. Look at how well the bird can camouflage in the day. I can only imagine the difficulty in seeing one under cover of darkness. Number 3. The Stone Flounder To put it simply, the stone flounder is a flounder that looks like a stone resting on the ocean's bottom. They are flat and nearly invisible. There are two types of flounders, the left and right-eyed flounder which indicates which side of its body its eye is on when in the flat position. Only one eye is visible while these fish are in camouflage, providing for an even deeper cover from predators. The most amazing part of all is that they can change their skin color pigments to match the ground beneath them, essentially draping them in a cloak that makes them look like sand and stone. It's truly a beautiful display of nature's wonder. To solidify the remarkable capability of the stone flounder's color-changing ability, if you were to place a checkered picnic blanket beneath a flounder, it would even be able to duplicate the pattern and colors. Now, that's pretty amazing. Number 2. Cicada Ever hear those extremely loud bugs in the trees that make their presence known every 17 years? These massive bugs that leave ghostly shells of themselves on trees and walls. The life cycle of the cicada is as impressive as it is gross. Every 17 years, from beneath the moist soil, cicadas hatch and break free of the soil like zombies. They march up to their nearest tree and breed. Soon, there are billions in the matter of a night, and they can be heard everywhere. Could you imagine walking through the forest to find a swarm of the likes of a cicada on the ground in trees? It's truly something out of a horror film. And it only gets worse. After shedding its outer shell and transforming into its winged version, the cicada takes to the skies. It spreads across the world. They're called an iconic screeching of their return. As numerous and terrifying as they may look, they are clumsy and relatively harmless. In fact, humans are the only species who are annoyed with their return. For other animals, it's buffet time. Thanks to the adult clumsiness, they're an easy feast for most insect predators. It's an amazing natural balancing system. Where the forest is overrun every 17 years, others find it delectable. The one true defense of the cicada is its sheer numbers. Without them, they'd be wiped out by the number of predators that feast. Number 1. Copperhead Snake Not only are copperheads extremely dangerous and deadly, but they're also incredibly good at keeping themselves hidden. So well, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. How easy would it be to accidentally step on this guy just sitting there in a pile of leaves? This snake often finds itself in the backyards of homes. They're also the most common venomous snake on the planet, making them even more likely to be slithering about your garden. Pets and humans are most often bit by copperheads because of their incredible ability to camouflage themselves. As goes with most creatures, snakes won't bother you if you don't bother them, hence why a camouflaged venomous snake is so dangerous. Bothering a hidden copperhead snake is as easy as accidentally stepping near one. It's not that difficult to do with disguises like this snake can employ. For fun, take a look at this photo taken where the deadly snake hides. Can you find it? I assure you that it's there. Here's a hint, it's brown. Around the world, animals have adapted to survive the harsh conditions of their environment and from constant attack by predators. After millions and millions of years, it's no wonder some of these animals have magic-like camouflaging abilities. It's a testament to the fact that life will go on, no matter the struggle or time frame in which it takes. Whether it takes a million years or a few thousand, some animals have better adjusted than others. Some have thrived where others have gone extinct. It brings to mind the question of what kinds of other creatures are out there, hidden beneath the soil, or thousands of leagues under the sea just waiting for their time window to hatch. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. You never have to miss another awesome video like this one ever again.